original composition by Andre Hayward. Way back home. Thank you so much for being here tonight at Monk's Jazz. And uh, how about it for Colin Shook, everybody, on the piano? <laughs> Colin is the uh, proprietor of Monk's Jazz. And I was so excited when he agreed to do this gig with me because I first met Colin. He was just a piano player. <laughs> he didn't have a club and all this stuff to do, <laughs> you know? And it's like, you need to get back to playing the piano. Am I right about this? Yeah. Really good. It's really good. So this is the uh, maiden voyage of the Elias Haslanger Andre Hayward Quintet. Thank you so much for being here and supporting our music and selling out this fine room, this amazing room. And we're going to play a little bit of both of our co mu original music and compositions. I wrote this one um, <clears throat> back, oh gosh, it was in the 90s probably. And I was about to do a recording session with the great Ellis Marsalis, who played on my uh, <clears throat> 1998 recording called Kicks Are For Kids. And uh, Ellis Marsalis, if you don't know, is the father to Wynton Marsalis, Branford Marsalis, Jason Marsalis, Delfeo Marsalis. And uh, they are kind of like, you know, modern jazz family royalty. And um, I was lucky enough to be able to perform with him. And I wrote this song for him. And really, it's about the history of this great music, uh, this jazz music, and uh, dedicated to Mr. Mar uh, Martin Banks and uh, to Mr. Ellis Marsalis, who unfortunately we lost over the pandemic. So this is a great tribute to the, the one and only Ellis Marsalis. This is called History Book.
Thank you so much. History book, original composition by yours truly. Thank you so much. How about this amazing band? Yes. On the trombone this evening, he uh, currently tours the world with the Duke Ellington Orchestra. He spent uh, eight years on the road with the Lincoln Center Jazz Orchestra under Wynton Marsalis. He has uh, recorded and toured with the great Roy Hargrove. Let's play with Chick Corea. The list goes on and on and on. He is truly one of the top call musicians in the world right now, and uh, we're very lucky to have him. He uh, even played and uh, came up with Betty Carter. And uh, so this guy is the real deal. He's one of my very good friends. I'm honored to have him up on stage with me. Give it up for Andre Hayward, everybody, on the trombone. I'm Andre Hayward. <laughs> On the drums, currently drum professor at the University of Texas at Austin. And we're so lucky to have him, originally from Seattle. Spent many years in New York as one of the top call drummers there. We're very fortunate to have him here in Austin, Texas, now marking about his third year in town. He's a brilliant drummer, incredible, as you hear tonight. Please give it up for Adam Jackson, everybody. Adam Jackson on the drums. On the double bass, recently completed his doctorate of musical arts, the contrabasso. He's got an incredible spirit and an amazing sound on the double bass. We're so lucky to have him. From, uh, came from Miami, Florida, now living here in Austin, Texas. Give it up for Mr. James Souter, Dr. James Souter back there on the double bass. And you met our good friend Colin Shook on the piano, everybody. Colin Shook. All right, so uh, I mentioned, um, just checking my notes here, I mentioned uh, as part of the promotion for this gig that we are going to do a, a little tribute to the great Wayne Shorter. And um, so we're going to play one song of his before we get back to our original compositions. And it's, it goes without saying that Wayne Shorter was truly a titan of music, uh, world music, you know, not just a jazz musician, but incredible composer, arranger, band leader, inspiration to all of us on stage and he really changed the shape of of modern music really with his playing and his composing he was born august 25th 1933 died just this year march 2nd of 2023 from newark new jersey he uh, attended the newark arts high school and then went to new york university nyu and actually got his degree in music education and after he got his degree, he went to the Army for two years. And uh, during that time in the Army, he played with the great Horace Silver. And upon his exit from the Army, he played with the, my former boss and band leader, the great Maynard Ferguson. And so I like to say I held the same chair as Wayne Shorter. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, boss would tell me. We called him Boss Maynard. I'd sit up uh, on the bus with him, and he told me great stories about all kinds of incredible musicians, including Wayne Shorter. And then, really, his career took off when he joined Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers. And he spent four years with Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers and really became well-known as the pre one of the premier composers of the time. And his, his compositions at the time kind of defined Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers. There was a guy by the name of Miles Davis. <laughs> you may have heard of him. Well, he took note of, uh, of Wayne Shorter and invited him into his band, and that's the second great Miles Davis quintet, which included uh, Tony Williams, Ron Carter, Herbie Hancock, Miles Davis, Wayne Shorter. And, w and Wayne's tunes at that time really kind of defined the sound of that great band. And you can listen to some of those recordings now, ESP and Nefertiti being two of the major landmarks, and it's still shapes modern music today, those recordings from, from the 60s. Um, at the same time he was doing all this amazing stuff with Miles, he recorded 11 records with Blue Note. Some of the most famous stuff you probably are aware of, uh, Speak No Evil. And the tune we're about to do is um, off one of my favorite records called Adam's Apple. And this was recorded in February of 1966 not released for a year and a half later until the summer or the fall of 1967. And um, of course, uh, he went on after his Blue Note and uh, his Miles Association, and he formed a seminal group in the 70s, a fusion band called Weather Report, 
with Joe Zawinul, which many of you are probably familiar with. He, he won Kennedy Center honors. He, a multiple Grammy Award winner, um, his association with Herbie Hancock, of course, and Joni Mitchell. He played a famous solo with Steely Dan on the Aja record. And um, he really uh, was just, just this amazing force of nature on this planet. And we, so we want to play a tribute to him. You know, I want to tell one more quick story. He was a Buddhist for 50 years. Him and Herbie are both practicing Buddhists. And Tina T Turner, the great uh, R&B um, and soul singer, the great Tina Turner tells a story in her book where after she left her abusive husband, Ike, she moved in with Wayne and his wife at the time, Anna Maria. And she credits them to saving her life, essentially. A little tidbit that you may not have known about Tina. So anyway, we miss Wayne. We thank him for his contributions to modern music. Huge influence on me. My 20, uh, 2006 record called Dream Story is essentially an homage to Wayne. I tried to write like him. I tried to play like him on that CD. So we're going to do this tune now. It's just, just one song, of course. It doesn't reflect his entire career, but we hope you enjoy this one. It's called Adam's Apple.
Jackson, Adam Jackson on the drums, everybody. Give it up for Adam. Woo! Smoking. Wow. Wow. We're having fun up here. You guys having a good time tonight? Yeah. Well, we are having so much fun. We're, we're running a little long on time. Uh, so we're going to skip the next one. We're going to go to... Uh, you don't want to skip it? No. <laughs> okay. All right. Andre says, don't skip it. All right, all right. We won't, we'll, we'll keep it up. We'll keep it up. You guys okay if we go a little bit over an hour and a half? <laughs> okay, all right. I wrote this next song. It's called For the Moment. And uh, I try to live my life that way, right? So that there is no yesterday. There is no tomorrow. There's only right now. And so you must live right now. Don't worry about tomorrow. Yesterday's gone. This is off of my 1996 recording, l recorded live at the Elephant Room. <clears throat> Featured Frederick Sanders, Edwin Livingston, and J.J. Johnson. And this is the title track called For the Moment. I'm gonna, I promise I'm going to let Andre talk here after the next one. <laughs>
for the moment. For the moment. Thank you so much. How about it for Eli, Elias Haslinger once again? And this beautiful tune. You guys are having fun out there? Oh, yeah. All right. Excellent, excellent. Uh, for those of, that, of you that are viewing online, please, um, I think we have a PayPal link or uh, some form of a donate link if you feel so inclined. We certainly, certainly appreciate your contributions on that. And uh, how about for these wonderful musicians once again? James Souter. <laughs> Colin Shook on the piano. And Adam Jackson on the drums. And my name is Andre Hayward with trombone. All right, at this time we're gonna slow it down and play uh, a waltz for you, something that I wrote for a special someone. Fortunately, we're not together anymore, but that's okay. I still love her. <laughs> Nevertheless, it's a, it's a, a tribute to her, and uh, this is entitled Sonnet for Lady B. Hope you enjoy.
Oh, man. Thank you so much. I think we're almost running out of time. We're trying, to, more for you. We're trying to stay conscious of here. Yeah. You, guys, you guys having fun? Yeah. All right, okay, all right. <laughs> Don't y'all leave here. <laughs> we got a, got a couple more tunes for you. Uh, this is another tune that I uh, wrote back in 1992. And back in Dallas, when, when I was living in the Dal Dallas and uh, gigging a lot there, and uh, I presented this to the late, great Betty Carter some years ago. She had a program called Jazz Ahead, and she would feature musicians from all over the country, you know, bring 20 of us from all over to Brooklyn, and we spent a whole week in, whole week in, in, in intensive rehearsals, and at the end of the week, she would choose the performance uh, tunes, and uh, she fell in love with the song. And uh, fortunately, it's become a favorite of, amongst the musicians, and I'm so thankful for that. Uh, this is a tune entitled Dre's Blues, and uh, once again, it's on a recording of mine that I did back in 2018, entitled Way Back Home. You can purchase that online, just about any platform, you want, uh, Bandcamp, Spotify, whatever, whatever that is. But anyway, we hope you enjoy uh, Dre's Blues. Thank you so much.
Trey's Blues, Andre Hayward, everybody. Give it up. I think Betty Carter would be proud. I think Betty Carter would be proud. That's not even fair that he gets to scat like that. That's not even fair. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Betty Carter is one of the legendary jazz figures in the world. I mean, she's up there with Sarah Vaughn, Ella Fitzgerald. I'm not kidding. And, uh, and Andre had, you know, was invited to be in her band and wrote a song that she liked and uh, just amazing, amazing. Andre Hayward, everybody. Give it up. Andre Hayward. Okay, well, we've had a lot of fun. We've come to the end of our program. I hope that you guys have had a great time tonight. How about it for Colin Shook and Monk's Jazz, everybody? Colin Shook, Monk's Jazz. There's a lot of shows that are coming up. Check Monk's Jazz website. They got the Facebook, they got the Instagram, they got it all. So come back and support this fine club, you know, because this is a special thing. Do you, don't you agree? Don't you agree? Yeah, Colin's done a really cool thing here. And we're going to get him back on that piano more often. What do you think about that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. James Souter back there. Dr. James Souter. Sir James Souter back there on the double bass. He sounds amazing. Incredible. And what about Adam Jackson on the drums, y'all? Give it up for Adam Jackson. Incredible. So fortunate to have these amazing musicians in town. My name is Elias Hasslinger, yours truly tonight. It's been our pleasure to play for you tonight, the Andre Hayward, Elias Hasslinger Quintet. Thank you so much. We hope that you've enjoyed the show. We got one more for you. I wrote this one, I uh, mentioned Dream Story, the uh, record that I uh, produced and uh, distributed in 2006. And this is the first track off that uh, recording. I wrote it for the great Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I was inspired by one of his speeches, and this is en entitled Eternal and Absolute. Thank you all for coming tonight.
Andre Hayward. Andre Hayward. Colin Shook. James Suter. Adam Jackson. Elias Hauslanger. Thank you so much for being here tonight. You guys get home safe. Thank you.